So I'm pretty satisfied with the final results of the trialing of a micro generator. Let's say your um, let's say your power is out. I mean, you could use the normal light, whatever. But uh, let's say your power goes out. So let's go take a shower. As long as you've got water pressure. So. See that? Got a light there. Five watts. I believe that bulb is five watts. And the maximum I tested without a load on this micro generator, hydro generator, was up to five watts. So we had an eight watt on there the other day for the initial test. Today I went out and bought the two bulkheads, the threaded bulkhead female fittings, and a single half inch PVC pipe. Right, so I can take a shower. Uh, la, 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 la. And yeah, it's completely. You can see the wire there. You just want to make sure whatever your setup is, to, that the water doesn't splash around too much on there. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. Worst case scenario, even if you short circuit it, if the wires weren't waterproof 100% enough, it's just 12 watts. So anything you, you might, you know, nothing, no kind of freak accidents are pretty possible with this setup. But yeah. So as long as you take the shower, and then if you're done, see even, even at this speed, the intensity of the light doesn't drop, it really hits its peak around here. So even at this water flow, waste less water, you shower, and uh, so yeah, then we just have to dim a little bit, it's like a dimmer, right? Still got some light, very low water flow, so just need enough to see like a candle light, and uh, you're good, right? So, uh, yes, you can really get there, but yeah, so there, the water's still flowing, but you're not really, but you can see that that's the water generation so cool off. And that's that, folks.